Hello everyone, in today's episode we are going to explore the very basic of Ableton Live, starting from scratch. So this is going to be uh, a part of a series where I'm going to teach all the fundamental of Ableton and, it, and these videos are aimed for those that don't know Ableton at all and want to know how to use the program to, from uh, making a loop to write down ideas, all the instruments, all the effects and uh, everything that has to do with the creation. So let's have a look. Okay, so this is Ableton Live, and this is how Ableton opens. This left column here, it's basically the, the brain of Ableton. It's where you insert instrument effect and all other types of things and sounds and samples usually it's divided in categories sound drums instruments audio effect media effect max for live plugins clips samples and so on then this part here it's the live view and this is basically where you are going to throw the ideas in each of the channels. We, you, in Ableton, you work with audio channels and MIDI channels. So MIDI channels, it's when you are playing an instrument, a virtual synthesizer. And audio, it's when you have a sound and you want to, for example, an a cappella or a drum sample, and you want to put it inside. So that's, you're gonna work in audio. Uh, this one here, it's the mixer. This is the volume, this is the left and right panning for the left and the right speaker, the switch on and switch off of the channel, solo, and arm the track. When I say arm the track, I mean uh, when you have MIDI, you can connect this and you can record stuff inside or you can also play instruments. Then you have here the returns channel which I'm going to explain later what they are for, and the master channel where all the music is coming out. Then, down here in this column where it says drop audio effect, it's where you will actually drop instruments and effect in order to create the sounds that you want. You have here, when you press this uh, symbol, this is actually the symbol of Ableton Live, um, you are in the arrangement view. So the arrangement view, it's the songwriting process. It's basically when you have done all your song in here, you can start to lay down the song structure and you can after uh, write automation, which is, you know, when the effects are going to come or when they're going to disappear or when you're going to put the drop and those four are basically the same of those three, four, just in a horizontal view. So this is basically the main layout of Ableton, the way it works. And also Ableton Live was got really popular when, when it's been created because of the possibility of playing live on a concert, and which is something that I, I will explain later. So, so this is the first part, the layout. Now, I'm going to explain the categories of the sound which will allow us to start making the song. Okay, so I could explain the sound tab, but I'm going to explain this later because, uh, you know, we want to start making music already. So the drums. So the drums has to do with rhythm. Um, when you press a drum, you can hear the preview. by highlighting the headphones, you can listen to it. But let's start with a simple drum. So for example, the 808, which is uh, the typical dance drum machine track. So you just drag and drop it to the channel. And here you have the, the sounds, which are divided in cells. It's usually 16 cells. If you want to change the drum, you can just take another drum, 
and you can just drag and drop it and you will change the drum. So now I have a909. So this is a very basic thing of how you use drums. You have another drum here, you can just drag and drop it and you have another drum. As simple as that. Then we have instruments. So the instruments of Ableton Live are divided in also, you can say, categories and different type of sounds. So uh, we have analog, you just drag and drop it in the MIDI channel. And this is the synthesizer. And in order to play the synthesizer, you have to do two things. Um, if you have a MIDI keyboard, that's better. But if you don't have a MIDI keyboard, if you have a computer keyboard like this one, you can still play the instrument. So to activate the instruments, you need to go here with the mouse and click the keyboard symbol, which allowed us to play the notes using the, our keyboard. And the second thing that you have to do, you need to uh, arm the track, which is this symbol. By clicking this, I am telling to the channel that I'm ready to play the synthesizer. So now I'm going to play it. So the way you can play the keyboard with Ableton Live, it's uh, from the A to the L, it's the white notes. From the Q to the P, it's the black notes. And Z and X function has octave down, octave up. So if I press this, C, and I press X, it's going higher. X again, higher, higher, and the opposite with the Z. So C, D, E, F, G, and so on. So this is the um, chromatic scale, basically. And you can play chords. If you want to. And this is basically how you make this make the synthesizer play. Then after analog comes if you open the folder of analog, it comes with presets. So you can just uh, drag and drop the preset and it will replace the previous one. Or you can open the bass section. You can go to saturate the bass, drag and drop. Then you have pads. So each synthesizer of Ableton has its own categories of sounds. Uh, then we have collision. And I think that collision, uh, it's, it's, it has this kind of metallic sound. Yeah, you can also, you can drag and drop to change the preset, but you can also double click if you are in the same channel. Then we have electric. Electric is another type of sound of synthesizer. You can open and you have different sound. Then we have impulse. Impulse it's another it's a sampler actually. Yes, impulse is a sampler where you drag and drop sounds inside and then you play with them. Then we have operator, which is probably the most famous uh, synthesizer of Ableton Live. And the good things about the synthesizer is not just having the presets that you can just uh, open and play, but also you can modify and, you know, if you really want to, you know, to work on the, on the synthesis and you want to modulate the sound really deeply, uh, with Operator you can do it very, very much. You can go through all the parameters. Then we have tension. Which I think it's similar to electric. It has to do with, um, you know, strong percussive sounds. And then wavetable. Wavetable, it's been introduced to Ableton from the version 10, which is uh, um, a very good sounding synthesizer. So those are basically the main synthesizer of Ableton Live. 
then let's now play a, a sound from a um, wavetable. Okay, just to have it here for, for example, because the next category is it's audio effect. So with audio effect, Ableton has a lot of effects that can make the sound more interesting. So, and it's divided also in subcategories. Uh, delays, for example, you can just drop an echo. You can just double click and you, or you can also drag and drop. So it's an echo. And then you have overdrive, which is a distortion device. Then you have compressor, limiter, um, equalizer. So equalizer is a very fundamental effect. And then you have uh, the reverb, which is also. Very nice sounding reverb. So all those old effects are assignable to everything. You can work with them on MIDI, you can work with them in audio. Then we have MIDI effect. So MIDI effect, it's mainly used for MIDI. So for example, uh, this is a MIDI because I'm playing a synthesizer using MIDI. I can have an arpeggiator, for example. Is adding an arpeggiator, then I have a, a chord device. Chord device is letting me play chords using only one key. Just remove the arpeggiator. And each, let's say, each uh, percent has a different sounding. Then we have pitch. Then scale. Scale plugin is really important because if you don't know how to play music, you would need to play, uh, you know, like to, to play within a scale without going out of melody. So with the scale plugin, I can set up this uh, to be in C minor. Everything that we play will be under the scale of C minor, he will correct my my play. And one thing to notice is that when you stack one effect after another, you have a, a series of effects. So if I have an arpeggiator on, a chord device, a pitch device, and a scale, so all of all of those are connected to my synthesizer and resulting on a much more Develop sounding. Then we have Max for Life. I'm not going to talk much about Max for Life now because uh, that's the server another tutorial. But Max for Life has more effect, so you can get lost if you have Max for Life. Then we have plugins. So plugins are all the plugins that comes from other companies that is not able to live. In, you know, in my case, I have uh, you know many other uh, synthesizer effects that comes from from the third third party plugins and so that you have much more possibilities of doing more stuff. Then we have samples. Samples are basically audio samples. So for example, I can drag and drop a sample in here. And this is an audio sample. But this has to do also with other things. So for example, if I want to I can take, you know, I have a sound from BBC, for example, I just put it here and I just drag and drop it in the audio channel. Sound of the refrigerator. Super interesting sound. And uh, then you have uh, grooves and templates. This is something that we're going to explore another time. So just I wanted to show you the sound category. So in here is where you will insert effects and instruments in order to go on with this.